Hey guys, welcome to Tactor's tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about how to install Stable Diffusion. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So for the first thing that you'll need to do in here is you'll need to have an account first onto GitHub. So you'll just need to search for GitHub in there, create an account, and also you need to create an account on Hugging Face. So both of these are actually free to create. So once those have been set up, you'll just need to follow the steps. So if you're using Windows, you'll just need to visit the get for windowsorg and download Git for Windows in there. So you'll just need to click on the download and then have it installed with the recommended settings. Now, right after onto your C drive, you need to create a new folder named AI. Now let's just click on to enter to save the new folder that we've added. And then right after that, you need to open the git bash that you have recently downloaded or installed. Navigate to the AI folder using the command so you'll just need to look at this folder and then clone the stable diffusion repository by running the command git clone repository link replacing repository link with a link from the description onto the video the next thing that you'll need to do is download the stable diffusion model you'll need to head onto the hugging face website for that and download the latest version of stable diffusion so you'll just need to go ahead and as you can see the current version is the 1.4 and you'll just need to accept the terms access and download the ckpt file now the next thing that you'll need to download in here is to give can face restoration add-on you'll find the link of this one in the video description so you'll just go ahead and click onto that since this is a valuable tool for character creation so you'll need to download this one and then right after you need to install python so you need to download and install python preferably version 3.10.6 and make sure to choose the version matches your machine so you need to choose it if it is 64 bit or for 32 bit and then right after once that is done you'll just need to organize all of the files that you have downloaded here onto the new folder that we've made which is the ai so additionally move the ckpt file you downloaded earlier into the models folder within the stable diffusion directory then right after that after the python installation is complete you need to navigate to the stable diffusion folder and double click the main web ui a user patch file so this will initiate the installation process and once that is finished you'll see a url in the command prompt copy and paste this into your web browser then start generating save your image and then right after monitor the status of your generation and refer to the command prompt and there you have it you've learned how to install stable diffusion and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to hit the like subscribe and if you have any question don't hesitate to comment it down below thanks for watching and we'll see you on to our next video